Hi, I'm Augie, and welcome to Augie Dance, where we cover West Coast swing dancing, country dancing, ballroom, and also a little bit of salsa. And so we're going to start off by interviewing our first guest. His name is Brian Jordan, and he is the swing director for Swing and Palooza in Louisiana. Is it Gonzalez? It is in Baton Rouge now. Yeah, Baton Rouge now. So we're going to get to know him a little bit, and uh, he's going to talk about his event, and um, we're going to have a good time. So here we go. All right, so we're going to start off with our first question for tonight. Okay. And that is, how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for about 30 years. Wow, 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, so what is something that kind of got you into partner dancing, or was it even partner dancing? Um, it was, I guess it was partner dancing, you know, it was, it was back in the day where, you know, they used to have uh, TNA and Country on TV and, you know, I used to watch it as, you know, I guess when I first saw Dirty Dancing movie and it inspired me to like want to dance more and then I started seeking out different places to see and watch dancing and I saw that it was, you know, uh, TNA and Country had dancing and I started seeing these people on TV and I was like, I wanted to learn things and it was inspiring me to want to learn more, you know, and I guess it made me feel like uh, yeah, maybe I can do this or as a confidence builder, you know, I felt like I was really shy and wanted to get out and meet different people and, and, um, and just, you know, ex express myself in different ways through music, you know, I like music, but I wanted to do something to the music and that's kind of the way it felt, you know, I was kind of shy and I just felt like I needed something to bring myself out of that place, you know, nice. it kind of got me involved in it, you know, it was a real wonderful thing just to be able to feel that confidence, you know. So, so. when you talk about, you, you know, you saw that movie Dirty Dancing, like, is that the only thing you had in your head was just like a bunch of like gum bumping and grinding? No, and no, it wasn't. It was just the experience of, of, of expressing yourself with music. Okay. You know, it was really just more about expressing myself. You nice. Know, you know, I wanted it to come, to be able to come out. You know, music made me feel that way. So okay. I wanted to seek out and look and see what my options were with dancing. Because at that point, I didn't know what kind of dance I wanted to learn, what kind of, you know, I just was like seeking out different styles of dancing and in the history of dancing and different styles. And, and you know, I started off with, uh, you know, with, with a little bop dance or East Coast Swing, Jitterbug. In our area, we have what we call Swamp Pop Jitterbug, which is to a certain type of music. Um, and then I realized that there was all sorts of types of swing dances out there. And then I uh, realized that um, I, I started off with East Coast Swing, basically, and wanted to learn more, you know, and uh, ventured off into what, you know, ran across somebody. I saw something on TV that was about West Coast Swing. I was like, I want to learn more about this. Nice. So yeah. is there like a particular time in your life that you, you realized that, you know, you wanted to do this full time? Um, it, yeah, I mean, it would start off as a, as, uh, as a, as a confidence builder, a hobby, you know, competing and understanding what, you know, on the floor and competition that, you know, a lot of people kind of get confused in some ways about what competing is about, you know, it's, I want to win, you know, I want to <laughs> win. Yeah. Some people feel that, you know, their points are that important in this world today in competition, yes, it is important, but it all started from a bar. You know, where I came from, it was in a bar, and it came out of a bar room, and we had a dance contest. And a dance contest was somebody probably won a bar tab or whatever, and it was become that, you know, it was like that. And then it became more than that, and it brought it out of the ballroom bar, basically, in a lot of ways, and brought it into where it was a um, an event, you know, to where people uh, could, uh, you know, they came up with a point system, and they um, uh, wanted to create um, uh, uh, how they how they build their uh, you know their levels in their in their dancing. So, um, but it started from a bar basically, and it kind of branched off into something more. Bar yeah. to ballroom. Bar right? to ballroom. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Now, Brian, you have an event, correct? I have an event. Yes, yeah, called Swing and Palooza. It's on Father's Day weekend. June 14th to the 16th. Uh, Swing and Palooza was a dream of mine. Uh, all the, you know, me traveling, competing. I thought, why can't I have something like this in Louisiana? So, uh, with a lot of 
hard work and lots of help from a lot of friends and volunteers. Uh, we uh, put this together, and, but we started it from a house. It was a house party, and uh, you know, we, it was just kind of a, a, an all-night kind of thing, and we had uh, leftover jambalaya, and we ate it, and uh, you know, warmed it up. Did you make and, it yourself? You know, no, yeah, made it ourselves, <laughs> and uh, and uh, ended up being just kind of a house party, and we thought we would do this once a year, and we had this party at my house, and it got a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, and then we ended up not having enough people, enough enough room at my house, and too many, you know, so many people came. And we thought we would bring it to a venue, so we, we rented a, a, a hall, and we had, you know, before, before you knew it, we had like 60, 80 people show up, and then before long, we had to move it out of that and brought it into a um, into a hotel, and then it became basically a points event from that point on. And uh, but every year we we've had it, and everything it's always been the jambalaya at midnight for everybody, and it was always had a, it was always try to keep it a house party, and you know, competition is competition, but dancing is dancing. And you know, it's fun dancing. You want to keep it all together, and you know that's something that we've always tried to try to keep. Nice. So now, is there like uh, for some of those people out there that are trying to you know create their own events? Is there maybe like a like a top five things that you would you know uh, advise to them to kind of run into a successful event? Yeah, my advice is don't start off big. Start it like we did. You know, we started off as just you know it had a it had a feeling to it. It had a, it was a party. Um, it, it didn't start off big, it started off small. We had to try to make it grow. And I think that you, maybe you can stay around longer with it. You know, it's not anything that you really can make a living off of. You know, a lot of people don't realize that you don't really make a lot of money off of dance events. You know, a lot of people, you know, uh, it's, it's a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of volunteers in it. And, you know, the little bit of money you make for it is basically just enough money to to keep it going and to add more things to it but it's kind of really hard to put anything in your pocket it has to be basically a love you know you love to do it and you want people to come to your event and express your area and and uh, your culture you know and what you bring to the to the dance community and uh, so so I would recommend it not start off big start off small and let it build itself I think longevity would be there if by building it small like that and build it, you know, over time. Nice. So, Brian, is there something in the dance community that you would like to see more of? Um, I think that what I would like to see more of in the dance community, it depends on, that's kind of a question that can be, can be either way. Um, like in what? Like how are you asking me? <clears throat> in music or dance style or um, you know or you know kind of there's a lot of different subjects when it comes to that you know. Uh, just whatever it means, <coughs> to you, you know, like when it comes to. Well, as far as the social level goes, um, I think that you know the, the the biggest complaint is that a lot of ladies feel that the guys do not you know, ask them to dance or do not ask them enough to dance. And, then, and the thing is, is, in any dance community, a lot of times there's issues where there's more women and men, you know. So <clears throat> the ladies feel that they don't necessarily get asked to dance, you know, and they, and they sit. And uh, I tell the guys, you know, you know, to ask them to dance, ask them to dance, you know, make them build their confidence, you know. I would like to see more of that happening, you know. and. And I, you know, and you have guys that dance with guys and girls and ladies that dance with ladies and everything. And that's a great thing to happen because it's all about dancing, you know. And, and, uh, but I, I tell the gentlemen, you know, I tell the guys, before y'all start dancing together, maybe I need to start dancing with the ladies. Let, you know, give them opportunities <laughs> to dance, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, um, uh, and, you know, sometimes it does, even as far as music goes, you know, blues music. Uh, you don't, you know, I started this dance off, it was really a lots and lots of blues. You don't hear blues as much anymore, it's more of a contemporary of the, what you hear on the radio today, which is great, I like all of it. Um, uh, it's just that a lot of the, the, the generation today that's learning to dance don't really know what really the roots of the dance are, you know. So I think as far as the education and what I teach, I teach what evolution involves when I let them know about where this came from. So they all know that you know there's a history about where it came from and not how it's just done today, you know. Because you never know when you'll get pulled, to, you know, when you'll have to dance to a blues song, 
and then where you can dance to a blues version. You know, this dance you can dance it as a blues, or you can dance it as more of a uh, a modern version of it. I guess you can say. You know, it's different, <clears throat> different. So I, I guess I'd like to see, you know, uh, a mixture, a good mixture of all that. You know, and then everybody will get along. You know, there won't be a, a, a I guess a wedge put into the dance itself. You know, everybody can get along with that. Yeah, you know. everybody should get along. Oh, get along with that. <laughs> love the blues like you love the all the rest of it. You know. Yeah. Well, it's just a generation thing, you know. The, you know, the the older crowd don't really want to accept the, the newer music or the version of it, and and you know, and they should have an open mind about it. And they it, should it, be able to shake their hips to move. That's like right. That. That's right. What, what is a good way to reach you? Like email, phone number. Oh, email, Facebook. Yeah, it's at brianjordandance dot com, um, or you can reach me at swingapalooza dot com, or you can reach me on Facebook, which is Brian Jordan Dance on Facebook. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I've enjoyed having you today. Thank you so much for joining sure, me. Sure. This is the first interview, so I'm, you know, really lucky to have an event director sure. join us. So I no problem. Anybody has any questions? I'm more than willing to help. You awesome. know, it's been a, been a, uh, uh, you know, uh, I know how it is, and it's not an easy thing. Uh, it takes a lot of, like I said, volunteers, and uh, uh, you don't get paid for it. You don't get paid for it. You know, it's all about the love. It's not about, about making it right. Not about, right. That's right. It's not about that. It's really <laughs> just about making love, you know, making the love of dance and sharing it. You know, I had a teacher tell me, and I've been talking, you know, I can go back to lots of old teachers that I took lots of lessons from. And, you know, I had teachers tell me that, you know, uh, that uh, when you receive something, that you should always give it back better. And so that's, I've always lived by that, that I mean, God gives you a talent. You should always return it or give it back to the next person better than you received it. And it's always something that I always remember, no matter what it is. Either it's a dance, a pattern, a move, an expression, or either how a dance event is run. It's something that's really about that. So. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, guys, we'll see you on the dance floor. All right. Hopefully yes. a swing of Palooza. That's right. right. That's right. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome to Augie Dance, where we cover all, all types of subjects, including country dancing, swing dancing, ballroom dancing, and we also give you tips on how to actually get into uh, competition. Sorry, let me try it again. <laughs>